The following podcast is recorded and produced by Emerge, a media creators co-op, in affiliation with the network at BICBP-radio.com. Hello there, and welcome to the newest show on the Holonet, the 716 Attack Legion. I am Broadcast Trooper, or BT7161, uh, Jordan. Joining me is, to my left, we have Jack. Hello. And Christian. And we have Julian to my right. Hello. Uh, today, in this episode, we'll be introducing you to our beliefs in Star Wars as well as the remain <clears throat> sorry <laughs> where we fall in the Star Wars universe uh, and we'll also be catching up on the recent expansion of the Star Wars galaxy uh, with the Disney acquisition and other source materials recent be it Less. Yeah, more recent years. than a decade. <laughs> <laughs> it's like about a decade. Yeah, we're, but. we're almost ten years yeah. into this now. <laughs> Relatively recent. It's more recent than Star Wars, Star Wars is old. Yeah. That's this true. is true. 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 It's, true. True. it's like You're a quarter right. of the time. <laughs> a decade is nothing. Hey, I still have chicken nuggets. <laughs> we'll I forgot I got them. Podcast to save. Yeah. Yeah. Podcast yeah. to save. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, in order to kick things off, I'll tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, my name's Jordan. Um, I align myself in the Force with the gray. My man. Somewhere in the middle. because I little lean a little bit to the dark side on the times. Just because the belief systems of the Sith Code. But it's not all about power, that's for sure. Um, so, my favorite film is Attack of the Clones. Because it shows the Force... Of the Republic, we did not discuss this prior. No, <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. That's interesting. All right. <laughs> interesting. That's my favorite. Mm. Also, a military guy here, so seeing the military side of it, like, it's a war movie. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. It all makes sense. It's a war movie. It 100. Oh, Plus, you get to see Anakin get cut, get his arm cut off. I mean, it's <laughs> that always bothered me in Attack of the Clones <laughs> because, like, in the movie, you can see that he 100 percent got cut, cut like above the the uh, elbow. And then but then in the Revenge of the Sith, it's like all the way down here, and it's just his arm. It's, it's like Kylo Ren's scar. Oh yeah, it's just yeah, magically it's, it's, moving. They were, it's, it's perfectly in tune. There was like definitely the, a little back to the growth lore, there. The they were moving scars. And they <laughs> went over to the uh, Harry Potter universe and they got that bone juice that regrows bones. <laughs> they can only regrow a little <laughs> bone bit. Bone juice. Sorry, we're on the. Is this the wrong bone universe? Bone juice does sound like something <laughs> that would be in Star Wars. Harry Potter does. <laughs> <Literally. laughs> I mean, it is a galaxy far, far yeah, away. Anything's like, possible. Is it? <laughs> Even if it sounds like something. It's <laughs> um, so my favorite expanded story arc or expanded universe legends continuity is the heir to the empire. Um, I love Thrawn. Thrawn Same, being yeah. a military genius and everything and understanding mm-hmm. that the culture dictates how somebody fights, I think, is very realistic. Yeah. Um, so that's my favorite story. And then um, the recent expansions of the universe here for me is um, my thoughts on it is uh, I'm happy about it, but definitely don't like the sequels. <sighs> that's disappointing. Teach their own. I, there was things I did like in them, but I didn't like the story side of it, so I did not like that. But I think <laughs> Lucasfilms and Disney is doing a good job in bringing it back to where it needs well, to be. Dave Filoni is doing it. Yeah, Dave yeah. Filoni. For sure. yeah. <laughs> well, Lucasfilms, on the other hand, that's that's a different story. Um, and my favorite theory <laughs> is Darth Jar Jar. Oh my god. Oh god. He let's is the just, greatest let's get, boys. Let's just get out time. of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Podcast over. But um, we'll go to Jack. 
and Jack. Uh, are we doing one at a time, or are we all gonna chip in and have like? We could have the discussion. I just figured you want to set the ground rules, maybe the cornerstone here of your beliefs before we all decide that uh, you're crazy. Um, I mean, the I also think that the gray space is definitely top tier. Um, I I don't think that I'd say I'm more dark side, or probably more light, but I'd want to use dark side abilities. And or slightly <laughs> charge your phone. Exactly. Duh. Like, why wouldn't you want to use the dark side occasionally? <laughs> um, even though I was a Sith in the short film that we made. Oh my but God, that doesn't that matter. So that same might same just be because of the same. fact that you're a ginger. <laughs> uh, I am soulless, yes. Yeah, so automatically. Yeah. <laughs> wow, automatically. I am, I am on the wow. dark side. <laughs> what about Cal Kestis? <laughs> he's going to turn to the dark yeah, side. We saw the video. Well, we know now. It's like, you spoiled it. <laughs> yeah, he's going down, Gosh. brother. Um, I can hear you better. My now. favorite theory in Star Wars is a uh, is a very recent one. Actually, it's that we're gonna go back to the world between worlds in the Ahsoka show. I was gonna use this. <laughs> I was gonna use um, this. there's a big <laughs> since Julian is giving me a very questionable look. I'll uh, yeah, go into I, I it a little not, bit. I did not hear this. So, um, a lot. There's been a lot of talk lately about going between going back to the world between worlds in the Ahsoka series. Uh, one that I heard most recently was that we'd be visiting different timelines and we'd actually get to see Ahsoka fight Anakin on Mustafar instead of Obi-Wan. Because a younger Ahsoka has been casted for the show. So Yeah, but I... Well, see, because I heard that, too. Because I've, I've, I've heard that, like, they have... For Ahsoka, well, one, like, they've refilmed entire sequences that have been filmed in, that have been done in animation. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's talk that, like, the fight with Vader on, uh, I forget what the planet's called. From Rebels. Morbin? Mortis. Mortis. Yeah. No, 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 Morban, right? Morbin? <coughs> no, yes. Morban, I think it is? Or Morban. Yeah. yeah, they changed it from Legends. It used to be a different, like, first letter. Uh, Mortis is, is it Mortis the War? The yeah, Mortis was the Mortis weird, was like, the, kind the of weird pocket universe shapes, off so yes. to yeah, And yeah, then yeah, there yeah. was, like, um, you went to Rebels, and I think, I think it's Morban, if I remember it's correctly. Morban. I think you're right. Um, but I th but there, uh, yeah. So <laughs> you're talking that, that you're talking the fight from the Rebels. fight from Rebels, yeah the fight right? from with, between yeah from Rebels between Ahsoka and Vader. I think there's yeah. talk that that is getting like almost a live I've action heard adaptation of that. Multiple people and I've, talk about yeah. Mustafar directly. But the one that I I think is definitely true is I've heard that the final uh, a scene from Rebels is. Including like the background with the art of like that the entire was, rebel that was, team. I've I have heard that Dave that entire that, that. yeah I've I've heard that that shot yeah we've seen the one shot of Sabine up with against the wall with mm -hmm. it but that apparently has been completely done in live action and it might even pick up like right there. That but, honestly would be sick. <laughs> so there is like a and they've been doing this thing where they even with like some of the animated stuff, particularly with like I think it's like the first episode of Bad Batch and the final arc of the Clone Wars, uh, where like it intercuts like perfectly like almost. It, like stops right when a movie starts, Last and even oh, and Tales of the Jedi as well, where they where they intercut it with like Phantom Menace now. So they've been doing that more and more. The la you, that last arc of Clone Wars <clears throat> always gets me. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. you want to can I don't know. <laughs> I know Julian has something to say. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Go for it. Oh. I'm only, well, I was gonna because was telling me to move on to the next. Move. Well, go I don't for know, it. That's why I want to keep it flowing. I'm not um, drinking my blue milk. <laughs> why why is the rum always gone? <laughs> Wrong universe. <laughs> we're we're Wrong just going to keep going. Still Disney. That's true. Touche. Um, it could be. It could be the same universe. Favorite arc of Star Wars mm -hmm. would probably be the prequels for me. I just love Anakin's corruption and then... Is Ark a trilogy, or is Ark like? Uh, well, I like mean, Lord of from Anakin's <laughs> oh, I, I age see. to his. I mean, it could be fall. anything, really. I mean, any yeah, I guess you can consider it all like, like one. either a character yeah. or a story arc or anything. I think that's almost like an arc for the Republic. Yeah, it's like, the yeah. fall of the Republic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> the Republic's almost a character in the prequels. So, mm -hmm. and the the, uh, the the whole thing that gets me with that, and the only the only gripe I have with that is that they reveal everything about him. They reveal the pregnancy. They reveal that he's going to be a dad. They reveal that he's Darth Vader at the end. And there was a there was a YouTube series. I can't remember. I think it was by Belated Media or something like that. It was a three episode series. And it's called "What if Star Wars Episodes One, Two, and Three were good, like really good?" I've seen that. And I think I've seen that. And it's before, this yeah. guy, and he he basically says, is, is, comes in and he's like, "Hey, look, if I was a story exec at Fox, and George Lucas came to me with the prequels, mm -hmm. this is what I would say." And then he rewrites the plot mm -hmm. in this 
beautiful way that includes Owen and and Padme, and we, you don't even know that Padme and Anakin are in a relationship until like the very last you know mm-hmm. minute of Episode Three, and you don't know if Anakin becomes Darth Vader. He and Obi Wan just kind of have a fight, and you don't really know what's going. On. It was honestly, I t- if you if you haven't seen it, if you I gotta remember, spend if I time watching. It, it. I think it was pretty well written in terms of like the actual like character arcs and stuff. Well, yeah, but there was a couple like uh lore, like lore stuff that was <clears throat> like and didn't they wasn't that the one there like that they were able to kill the Jedi because like they invented blaster fire? Or no, something? no, 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 no. Or is no, that no. a different one? It's a different. That's it's a different. Thing. Uh, that's the oh, one that I've. That's you know what I'm talking? Like they were using guns. And yeah, they like they were, that was oh, like yeah, that was like a weird thing where they had they incorporated like some other weird clone thing to it in that yeah that guns used kyber crystals or something. Yeah, no. It wasn't. It wasn't. So I don't. Know, like I don't that. think I've seen no. what you're talking about. You should. I, sh- I should send you the link to him because mm-hmm. they, they're uh, the the thing about him is that they. I don't know. He writes the story so that it more focuses on Obi Wan, and then mm. in the very final minutes of Episode Three, you kind of realize all the corruption that's been happening to Anakin. Mm. So like, you don't really. It's it's about Obi Wan's perspective of everything yep. versus Anakin, which is really good because if you really think about it, I mean, if you look at the prequels now, they kind of are about. Obi Wan, mm-hmm. like yeah. mm-hmm. it's kind of about him when he's like, See, "This is why we need a Vader sort of series." <laughs> <laughs> well, but the well, thing I, is, I well, we already have too, a Vader but... series. That's no, four, five, and six. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, See, Vader I... is almost like the already like the yes, the but guy, no. So. See, I'm talking Vader like end of Rogue One Vader. Yeah, where I just don't know how much like comic book series for that. I just don't know yes, how much. Yeah, that's true. I just don't know what progression there is for Vader to do as a character. Like yeah, in, they during really the show between much that more. much time, you know what I mean? Like it, I'd be cool. Like the stuff that we'd be seeing Vader be doing would be cool. But Hear there's me. not much like actual like real progression. Of Hear character. me out on this. I would be fine with it. Horror I don't care. movie like, style, but your villain is Vader. I mean, I, I'd be fine with that as well. I mean, I, I think it would be again it, 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 from the from the filmmaking perspective. Yeah. <clears throat> it, it 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 would be cool. Obviously, it would be very cool because, you know, everybody loves Darth Vader and, and it would be awesome to mm-hmm. see that. But also, like, uh, and, and I was going to touch on this when I get to my talking points, but I, I, I sort of want to stray away from the Darth Vader Obi-Wan stuff because that's like, I mean, that's that's the, pinnacle the, of the, universe, that's the yeah. first six movies is, yeah. is Darth Vader and Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. And then and then Luke comes in halfway through and, and then he gets the story. And so so it's it's, it's it, we should. Like, this is why Mandalorian is so good. Mandalorian yeah. was, like, so separate. And then they, like, included little hints of stuff that we've already seen. So they got Bo-Katan, and then they had Luke, and then they had, mm-hmm. uh, you know, all this sort of stuff. And, like, like even Grogu, he's a separate character, but he's Yoda. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it's all those little touches. But Mandalorian is so good, arguably the best show out of all of mm-hmm. them. I think it's – I would say it's the best in terms of, like um... – Capturing like kind of like a familiar spirit of Star Wars and like and not and not pan- considering and not live pandering and animation together. Uh, well, no, I'm talking live I mean, act, the I mean, live I mean, action. I'm saying sure live action fine. here, yeah. Make sure mm-hmm. I'm talking the live action Disney stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think it, there's it, a sense of familiarity when you watch like Mandalorian. I think Mandalorian is like as pure as something we've had to the like originals well, and, and I, like the modern that we've kind of. And, and I think that the, the Mandalorian is is sort of what uh, Solo wanted to be, which uh, is yeah. is like space cowboy. He's he's a, he's a space cowboy. Yeah, and he a, runs yeah. around so is a western. and he it's a western mm-hmm. exactly, and that's and that's what well they wanted Solo to be that because that's technically like Han Solo's character and is it wasn't yeah. like that, mm-hmm. but and the thing about <clears throat> Mandalorian that makes it so good is that it was so the first season in particular is so separate from everything else mm-hmm. that like that you hear words like Republic or uh, Empire or this or that, but it, in reality it's not it's like it's its own, it's its own thing, mm-hmm. and that's why it's so good. You know, um, and then they break then, down the door, and they're like season two, Ahsoka, and then Luke they're like season Skywalker. two, we're gonna get Ahsoka <laughs> like, and Luke and Bo Katan and yeah, all this exactly. stuff. Like, yeah. I, don't get me wrong, Luke Skywalker, my favorite character in all of Star Wars, but I cried. With should he have showed up there? Yeah, I agree. Is I, that the question? Yes. You know what I mean? Well, Is you're, that well, you're we a should be asking? well, I will say you're. I'll go, and we'll get into this. I'm sure you're someone that actually likes the sequels. If for all three of us, which I'm going to say, I probably don't. That that like redi- like, it was like it was ridiculous. And, I, and again, I'm sure we're gonna have plenty of arguments over this, but like, there's a certain movie that um, many people don't like did to that character, and that one is a better <laughs> representation for everyone who actually grew up on that character. Actually, makes them feel good about themselves. Well, I agree with when that. they watch it, right. which instead of like having a half-assed, not well-written character that would never would have gotten to that point in the first place. See, so, but I have a, I have comments. Again, we're gonna, on that again we'll I don't want to get ahead of that argument That's here. The world we'll get into worlds. that. Yeah, but. but you so, want to go, brother? Uh, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. Again, yeah, but again, everyone's w- welcome to their own <laughs> thoughts on last year. Let's, let's tame it down. 
We don't need any <laughs> but decapitations. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jack, you want to keep going yeah. through your yeah. uh, your stuff? My favorite Legends story arc um, was the the Death Trooper series. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's, a good, that's a good one. Like the, the first, like good at least for me, like the first like horror Star Wars, mm-hmm. I think was like really cool. And I read that when I was. Yeah, a they took elements of say, that yeah. for the design of like the real Death Troopers when they brought them back for canon too. They're yeah. obviously not zombies. They're not so zombies, but no, they put the voice and put the voice stuff oh, yeah, in it. Over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> <clears throat> you you all you also enjoyed the death. Oh yeah, oh hundred <laughs> percent. It's like the only legend storyline. Uh, well, uh, obviously, like I like the Thrawn stuff, and but the that's like because you're thinking it's it's zombies. Like that's yeah. the that's what makes it cool exactly. is that it's so it's so different. Again, it's again like Mandalorian is so different. This death Trooper stuff is so different. Like who would think that you would have zombies in Star Wars, and that's why it's so cool. Any rational human being. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. That's what's always been fun about Star Wars is there is, like, kind of a main vibe and a main, like, aesthetic. But, like, if you bring the magnifying glass and point it somewhere else, there's, like, all sorts of different things everywhere. It's right. Just, like, horror. There's philosophy. There's all sorts of things. Right. So, Jack, then what are your thoughts, then, on how Disney is incorporating Legends on the more recent expansion of the universe. I'm very happy that Dave and John have been incorporating a lot more legend stuff into Star Wars. Um, it's probably one of my favorite things that they've done. Like, Thrawn in Rebels was, like, a game changer mm-hmm. for everybody. Because, like, even if you didn't read, like, you didn't read the books, like, and then you saw Thrawn, like, I everyone I've talked to still loved him. And, and also, like, that's going to be the plot of Ahsoka. Yeah, exactly. Is I really her think going like after this him. big bad that we're building up to in this kind of, like, Filoni, uh, Favreau. Oh, they're doing it the smart Favreau. way. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're doing it the same way that like, they did. We're going to have four like, shows Thanos. now that are going to be running concurrently, like, at the same time in the universe by the time, by the end of the year. There right. Have been four. And they're, and they're so. doing the same thing that they did, like, they're doing it the smart way, the way that they did it with, like, Thanos mm-hmm. and Marvel, is that they're building up. She yeah, says, burn. like, yeah. where is Grand Admiral Thawne? And that's the only time you hear about him, and then mm-hmm. you're not going to hear anything about it until we get there. And I it's watch, like, that's awesome. I watch, like, a lot of reaction channels on YouTube. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. Same. <laughs> and when, and when, think, yeah. like in yeah. that episode when they were watching like everybody everyone that I watched like freaked out yeah. as soon as you mentioned Thrawn like, exactly because you're like oh my god mm-hmm. he's still alive well, I remember like, how big of a deal it was when they brought him even though like I don't think like Rebels Thrawn is like his purest like best form although obviously. like he has his moments in Rebels that are like he's really awesome, really yeah. good but I but that's why they're bringing him back for live action because you're bringing him to a medium that he's able to fully fulfill and honestly this is where Thrawn like, this was where he originally th- uh, thrived in, like, this p- time period was Thrawn's time period. Yeah. Like, the old legend. So, this is a better time to have him do his thing and be, yeah, like, he, the big he's bad. He's definitely the... He's a foil to, like, a yeah. um, to the Emperor, because he's not, like, a Sith. He's, like, a very lo- logical, like, tactical, he like, He is individual. a militaristic mind. It's, it, he's, he's not going to do the things, like, where, uh, where like, the, like for instance, like, every Imperial fleet should have, like, multiple support ships, but they don't do that. And they want to know why they don't do that, because it's not as scary as having multiple <laughs> Star Destroyers. So, like, but Thrawn doesn't do that. Thrawn does everything tactically, whereas the Emperor uh, just did thing everything for fear. Yeah. Was more of it. That was more of just like, we're going to scare everyone into Palpatine submission. Palpatine returned. Because <laughs> so that's why we're going to, when Thrawn's going to, like, they're going to do, we're 100% going to have, like, whatever, I forget what that Jedi in Hair to the Empire is called. But, uh, um, Master Saibot? I think so. But either way, we're, we're going to get a version. We're going to get a version of that. We're going to get, like, all his other weird tactics of, like, yeah. weird non-Empire assets that he always uses and stuff. So we're going to... Besides See, Exegol, getting... I don't think that we've explored, like, the unknown Yeah, the region. unknown regions. And they've been or new space. Bringing it up. Yeah. That's what it's called so. now. Yeah, so... But so we're, the way you're explaining this, though, mm-hmm. Christian, I, I'm seeing more dark side attributes where you in, in, are in the force here. Uh, I'm whatever Ahsoka or uh, what's his name, uh, Revan is. Oh. Grayish, yeah. grayish. Yeah. Revan, Revan, Revan's definitely more dark side. Like I flux- at least for the main part of his life, he's more dark. I would side. say like Revan, like he's a redeemed. I like I like Revan initially. I like Revan like with his intentions before he falls. I like them. Okay. Like where he's like I where he, he doesn't like the a little bit of dogmatism that's even like present in the Jedi all the way back <clears> then. And like there's this almost like but they're not gonna go fight, they don't wanna help. So like his board reason then what it is like a schism. And, like his group goes and fights and then he eventually falls and obviously. I but. think one of my favorite definitions of Jedi is like Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan Kenobi, who's my favorite Star mm-hmm. Wars character ever. Um, he's like, 
people always compare him to like he's a Jedi. Like he's yeah, the, the perfect form. Jedi. He's, like he, he follows the, the order, <laughs> no questions asked. But like Ahsoka, she's the best example of a force user. Yeah, that's why I like I I think it's whatever Ahsoka is is probably what I I feel like she's the most a, like spiritually I, like, idea of what a Jedi a, should familiar with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Revan's probably just like the coolest force alignment I would say if I had to <laughs> like Revan has the because he went big back and forth like there's something cool about that like Revan. like how many people have done that actually and like uh, not that there's been like, a few there's, there's been a few, been a few in the uh, Legends continuity but yeah um well, you have Jason Solo the red and purple though. Revan is Legends lightsaber. right no he's no, he's, 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 cannot, he's mentioned somewhere when, so that's brought in back the sequels. I know he's in the lost episodes of the Clone Wars but in I didn't think those were canon anymore. I think he might be mentioned in a book by Luke. No, so in the sequel series, um, the one battalion, which is in the uh, encyclopedia, yep, the Star right. Wars encyclopedia, this is, right. uh, is Revan's battalion and of the of the Sith troopers, which are the Red First Order troopers. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, that I and I so is. We know Darth Bane is legend. Yeah, Clone, is not, is Clone Wars brought back Bane. Bane, I knew. Yeah, yeah so I did. the rule two Luke, and everything. Hamill voiced um, him, if I remember correctly. Darth Malak. Yeah. Yeah. Darth Malak is also, and so is Darth Tenebrous. Mm-hmm. I know that in the lost episodes of the Clone Wars, and we're going to get way off topic for a second yeah, here. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but, like, the the original, like, season seven for the Clone Wars that was never finished, and then I think it was Dave Filoni he put him up on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen him. Like, there's a, there's no, a they, shot. They leaked. Yeah, they leaked. There's a shot in there Money. where they go to a, a temple and there's giant statues of like Revan and uh, yeah, that, that, that similar had, to what we that said one's cut. Yeah. That one's cut, right? Because I know that because I remember like I saw the stupid like uh, Bad Batch arc like years mm-hmm. before yeah. like the Bad Batch came out, like yeah. before that season came out because that arc existed in unfinished form on YouTube. Yeah, that's for, like, that's seven what I'm talking years. about. And there's like at least two other arcs, right? Yeah, there's or one with a the giant, the giant crystal. Kyber crystal arc, which they, which there, there's like one scene in that. I was mad they didn't adapt that back into the like, finish it because there's a scene where Anakin and like Obi Wan talk about Ahsoka mm-hmm. in that one, like where they're like almost camp, they're like camping, they're so camping overnight and they have like a whole ass like. Someone recreated about it. that scene mm-hmm. in like amazing CGI, and that's one of my favorite amazing. like scenes in Star Wars, and it's an unfinished, like, <laughs> like <laughs> not unfinished, technically episodes. not canon, like <laughs> like scene. It is a bit of a dumb arc, I will say. <laughs> like, it look, is, it's a kind of crystal for the Death Star. <laughs> like, but, it's a little early. So like, crucial, though, to say it. No, like yeah, that, it but makes sense. But little. let's get let's get Julian's opinions. Right oh yeah, quick. definitely. <clears throat> On what? It, everything. Oh, okay. Are you done? Uh, yeah, we really there. didn't. So, but I got I got one. So we're kind of pushing it, and and yeah, we're jumping around a little. What's your favorite theory, though? Oh yeah, oh, like mine? that's good. That's good because I think that really is where you find. I like the world between worlds theory because I feel like it's like a an escape from like the current nightmare <laughs> that I'm in. Like it's like it's like uh it's like if I have a just laughing his ass off. <laughs> uh, but so like, I like that as like uh, I, that, that theory is like a real potential to like to save like the continuity in Star Wars for me. So like it's like the crisis. And again, and, and again that's only to me and like my own personal universe. opinions in Star Wars. <laughs> Otherwise I like the theory that um Luke's I don't know if this is canon actually or not, that Luke's green saber was uh was Qui Gon's crystal? That's I, my favorite one. I like that. Don't think it's canon. I don't, I don't think, that's, think so either. But I like that. It makes sense. So like, I thought though in the original expanded universe, and I, correct me if I'm wrong. This isn't here, the original stuff, but, but um. But like even but that theory, I like that theory. Mm-hmm. But now that the, the Disney has gone into that, you have to bleed yeah. a crystal and the crystal change changed for based red off of crystals. Well, y- yes, but the, the crystal color about. changes with the alignment of the user. Oh. So if somebody becomes more and they d- wise, they get the green. And well, then and that's they- what happens in in Clone Wars is when they when they do that episode with all the younglings, they're all the same color. Yeah, they and then all do when they kind of build their color, lightsabers, yeah. then they become the colors. I think what Jordan was talking about was in the original continuity of Star Wars, Luke goes to, goes and makes an artificial crystal. He makes oh, an yeah, artificial green yeah, crystal right, in yeah. Obi Wan's old house. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Oh yeah. See, I always like that. Legends I always like the idea yeah. that, like, it would, even if it was Qui Gon's crystal, like, I feel like it would have maybe would have shifted to green anyway. Because mm-hmm. I feel like yeah, that's more so Luke's It's definitely his personality. Point. Yeah. Like, and we I just got to like, thank George Lucas for that. Though, and also, I don't, think, I don't really like the idea of like of like Anakin's blue lightsaber like just randomly changing color because like a Jedi with like a different nature like picked it up like or with like was Luke had well, a different nature. It this is, and that's why I don't necessarily like that too much. 
personally, I like yeah, I the think Legends the bleeding. Cr- the, I don't hate the. Ble- a lot of people really hate the bleeding crystal thing. I think it's. Um, I think it's. But I don't. I, li- cool. I like it for the red a lot. I think the red bleeding of the crystal is really, really good. I think it's a little um, forced at times. I don't think it that necessarily. I don't think you can sense, change the color of the crystal bad. after it's been assigned. Now, oh, okay, unless maybe. it's mm-hmm. red, like you can take well, any bled, color yeah, crystal yeah. and make it red, and then you can make it white. But I don't think you can. I don't think you can take a blue crystal and make it green. And that's well. And the thing is, is that like. See that's when you get too deep into it. When yeah. when in in reality it, it it could be very simple as exactly what it was in in the in the Clone Wars episode, which is that it's it's it it just depends on who's using it. It's all they're all the same color until they put them in the in the they build the lightsaber and then it you know comes out based on their personality. But that's why we're here, yeah. right? <laughs> Otherwise, my other favorite theory was like uh, when they confirmed was was Rex was the old dude on. Like, oh yes, yes. yes. that was so my favorite happy one. Ever. They did that, and that's like, canon now. It yeah. is, and the one and my best theory that. I I ever came up with that was right about when she this dude this producer dude over here can uh, uh, <laughs> seven, one, six, uh can confirm is that I <laughs> I predicted the dark saber in season one of Mandalorian before a single episode came out. Uh, no way, yes. really? Yes. That's good. Kinda, That's good. Zach Zach across. and my dad will will. Well, when you 100%. come across the name, because I had said Filoni's gonna bring his baby. Like, what's yeah. up? It's literally the show is literally called The Mandalorian. And it's a Mandalorian lightsaber. You this can't shit's showing not up. Not have the I was dark like, saber in that show. Yeah. Now, I was like, you're not think... gonna not make toys out of this. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, did I think that Moff Gideon would have it? No, no I didn't see no. that coming. I also did not see Grogu coming. No, I. Well, they kept. I came. That they one kept was, that that was You thought that's still I impressive thought... to this day. They kept that secret. Like, it it bl- it blows my mind that that didn't get out because honestly, think it's of the such merchandise. a big. Well, they, well, they, they delayed it. They delayed the merchandise, which was the wildest thing. They delayed it so it couldn't make it out to Christmas. I waited six like, months for that wild. Funko Pop. Like, listen, I waited six months. <laughs> well, because a year for the mini fig. That's like this <laughs> yeah, big. But that's, but that's how they do it. But that's how you do it. The that's right the right way, way to like, do it. That, it is, exactly. yeah. And that's and that's the thing that a lot of like again from a filmmaking point of view, from somebody who works in the industry constantly, is like. That's uh, the good thing about yeah. marketing is like if you if you if you wait like patience 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 More could you payoff. imagine mm-hmm. The like how much money they would have like lost had yeah. they advertised it sooner, and then everybody gets to the episode and it's not a surprise to everybody you know it's coming, mm-hmm. but everybody wants to watch the episode because it's Star Wars, and then you see that and you're like, oh my god, I gotta get that, yeah. and now mm-hmm. everybody's running to the store constantly because. If they had put that out, yeah. for example, if they had put that out and, and just started making toys about uh, Grogu and whatever for a while, then it sort of... <laughs> I will say, though, if they make another goddamn Grogu Funko Pop, I'm going to jump off the bridge, a bridge. There's a pink like, one now. At this point. Like, I there's so many one. Grogu... Like, if I, we, there's too much Grogu merchandise. But, like, well, it's only I, Grogu merchandise because nothing in the sequel trilogy sold at all. So they're like, we need to make something really cute that we can sell for, like, billions of dollars. But, and also, but also the thing is... is like, that, and like, I love toys, Grogu, but, but that's like, 100% what he wants. Like, you have to imagine... Like, imagine the marketing... Like, all the marketing yeah, uh, that they had for the prequels versus the sequels. Yeah. Like, toys mm-hmm. nowadays are not the same as the toys used to no, be. No, they're like, not. Look behind you. The, they had, like, every color of Jedi yeah. Starfighter ever. Exactly. They yeah. had... Like every figure, they had they had like action figures for characters mm-hmm. that were like in one scene in yeah. the entire saga, and mm-hmm. then when it came to like doing the new stuff, then they didn't like they didn't. It's cater... all very derivative of the original stuff as well, right? So. And they and they didn't really cater the marketing like toys and action figure wise towards like the the people who like 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 for my generation. It's like now like the only really good like posable cool action figures mm-hmm. you can get are like the black series ones. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And those are like crazy expensive. Whereas like when we were all younger and they had like eighteen million action oh figures of all these different characters mm-hmm. and they gave you a big you well, they can't get even, the big dark they can't even head sell sequel the... they can't even sell sequel stuff like anymore. Well like, yeah and it's and it's and it's like so we're not like, even able to so we're not even not that people even want any because like, like it's just not good. The, I think the weirdest, the weirdest phenomenon of the sequel, tr- not, and I don't even want to talk about. Um, I still bought all of it. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. like, like, I mean, I have, a, I have very, and, and I guess this is a good. I'll just go into like a little bit of, I guess, my uh, thoughts on Disney's stuff. I think it's very mixed, like very. You got like because they initially canceled Clone Wars and replaced it with Rebels, which Rebels is after season two. Rebels, it got great. There's, no, there's two halves of Rebels. Ron Rebels, saved Rebels filler. Rebels. Rebels filler versus Rebels like uh, main story and like the main and when it's like actual character progression. Two very different worlds. That one world is good, but the the fact that you've that you have to cancel Clone Wars to get Rebels has always been a 
a little bit yeah, of yeah. And the thing was too, it's like and and, and well, I think and they they that was they early sort of on, knew, obviously. They knew they they knew after uh, Ahsoka left the show that they that they were gonna say like okay. Uh, we're we're losing viewers here. Ahsoka's gone. Um, let's yeah. let's do something new. And then and then they brought Ahsoka back anyway. It was like you should have just finished off Clone <laughs> Wars with her in the first. Well, place. Ahsoka Lives was a fun was a fun campaign online. Okay, least, so. yes, Clone Wars getting canceled was very sad. But like the time jump from when it got canceled to when it got repeated. It was. Up, I think it's worth it. The animation it's alone, of, yeah. like it was. Worth it, it was so worth. Hundred percent. Well, that's all uh, mocap. Hand and honestly, yeah. and honestly, so we needed like, them yeah. to screw up the sequel so bad so they could apologize <laughs> to make the final four episodes of Clone Wars. <laughs> so, which are which, what Green saying, which is my favorite thing in all of Star Wars, is the final four episodes of Clone Wars. They're epic. The, and if I have to, so if, I'm gonna actually put that down for like my best film because technically you can watch that in like all. Oh, the, I had, view it I had as the like Siege a, of Mandalorian in here. Yeah, too. Siege of Mandalore. I think if you can watch that as like a film, we like take out the little like. In, uh, bits in the middle, I guess. Yeah, no, <laughs> that unnecessary would, amount. Yeah, the unnecessary like part two, whatever the hell. Then, yeah. um, right. But then, then that would be like my pure favorite. Ahsoka's probably my favorite character. I That's would say. what I was gonna say. Yep. Um, and then I like, but that arc also has character. like Maul. It, Maul is probably my favorite Sith Lord. Like, I think I think Vader is like the best Sith Lord. But um, but I think but Maul is I think very. I love Maul's chaoticness. I think Sam Witwer doing the voice oh, in like oh, Rebels so is like uh while and that, that's that one plot line where he just like takes over Mandalore with like like gangsters <laughs> and like Crimson Dawn Crimson yeah with Crimson Dawn. Dawn and like the Pikes and like the the Hut Clan oh yeah and then he kills you mean the real and, sequel like, series <laughs> yeah like like, like <laughs> yeah, that shit seriously. is like like that is like the some of the that it's the point where like where he has to get like the Emperor. Like or not the ever like Palpatine for the first time in the series off his butt like doing like Palpatine espionage stuff to go deal with it like he has to go deal with it like it's like it's the only <laughs> time he goes and fights in the entire series and he goes and like murders him. We, we talk about that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> it's like literally like Palpatine just does nothing but like in the entire Clone Wars series but like just do background stuff and occasionally you have him like where he puts like Padme in the. In the front of like in front of the malevolence and stuff. That's all he does until that moment but where he's like, "Okay, you say that, you've I become a rival." Like that's like yeah. that's and like. He, oh, go ahead. He comes yeah. out and he, it's just like one of the best things yeah. ever is when I was watching the show with Rick and we're sitting there, we're watching it and we're watching it, we're watching it. And Palpatine shows up and you're like, "Oh boy, here we go!" And he pulls out the second lightsaber. He's just playing with my him. initial like, reaction was. My brother in Christ, run that shit by me <laughs> again. He, two. he has two of them, but and well, then all it was of it like, was, he was like so good with it. Didn't all either. of it was just to retcon one thing in episode three where his lightsaber got kicked out the window. Oh my god, it's and awesome. And then also it, my he has favorite, it back. my favorite lightsaber action ever is in that fight scene where, and this is such a small detail where Savage goes and he like tries to like stab down with like his double saber, um, like on the Emperor misses and the Emperor tries to like whack him and he ignites the other side and blocks it. Like and that is yeah. some of the best like lightsaber choreography I've ever like seen. Did you see that when I was right when I was writing my one like script after you did yours? That was like the first thing I wrote down was <laughs> a was. scene with that where I stole that. Like yeah. that was like. Did the, you see the um the 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 uh, the unfinished training thing oh, that just yeah. came out recently of 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 Hayden Christensen doing the fight with oh, Dooku yeah. at the, the beginning what? and yeah. he like he like he's like holding it out and then he like lets it go and switches hands did you see that you guys seen that thing yeah, that yeah. TikTok video that's going on yeah. oh I my god that, that was like yeah. the coolest shit I was, was like why did we not have stuff, that yeah. well, that was awesome right before we right before we started I was in my car and I was watching the the cut fight between Sidious and the council members and it's like 50 times better. I'll have to show it to you guys after yeah. we're done. It, it is truly a, a magnificent piece of cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that fight alone is like, wow. And you have a, and then what we got was, yeah. yeah. That was always the thing yeah. with the prequels. Like, the story there is so, so good. It's like out on paper. And it's like, oh, it just well, executed you, slightly better. I like, don't like again, sand. To go off of like a. What? I don't t- like sand. I don't like sand. It, oh, it gets again. everywhere. It's coarse. It gets, it's coarse. Oh, <laughs> Do you guys know that's that the everywhere. only part about episode two that I don't like. Uh, see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I. That's like the I'm best part. I, what do you I'm, call I'm, you, bro? I unfortunately have to tell you, my least favorite film is probably two. No, mine's <laughs> like, eight. I'm sorry, Julian. Oh, wait, actually, eight. actually, to be fair, I Not probably have a deep seated hatred. Zero. For the like the sequel films more than I do two, like two at this point. The prequels so. at the time. When I was, they're just hard. This is a hard movie to watch. Okay, <laughs> were cinem- cinematic masterpieces. Oh, one hundred percent. Well, they are. They revolutionized. They a really lot did. Of CGI. We had the first CGI characters. We had mm-hmm. battles just fought in straight CGI. Yeah. Right. But you get introduced to the single 
most badass Sith Lord yeah. that there was. And then they killed him. Yeah, I have a lot of love for Phantom Menace. I have a lot. But they of brought love him back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no, nope, they like, brought him again, back. Again, this is why you should watch the belated media thing because he is the main character. He's the main bad guy through yeah. all three of them. To be fair, even that other stupid one, he's the main villain. In yeah, him. he is. He, does he kill Windu in that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure in that one, yeah, in the, in the one we were talking about earlier, he, Maul kills Windu. I'm pretty sure. Yes, Maul is the best. <laughs> okay. He's not only is he a Sith Lord, he's a Sith assassin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's like that's that weird, it's that weirder gray position because it's like a third and like the. Because again, Pl- Plagueis is alive during the until, entire entirety of episode one. Yeah. yeah until yeah. like the last like minute. Until that like, battle starts. Until Obi Wan and Qui Gon face Darth Maul. He's yeah. alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So, like, he's not even part of the rule, too. Maul was, like, almost always a pawn. He never was even so, considered, but I gotta, like, so to be I gotta an ask, apprentice. Darth Tenebris is made canon. Does that mean Darth Plagueis is now canon? I think there's canon. no he's way Plagueis canon. can't be. No, well, is, oh, yeah, he's because he said he's the, the always theory. Been yeah, 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 right. I apologize. I apologize. Because that's the whole thing. He meant, like, I think he meant the more the full, like, story. The more novelization of Darth Plagueis. Like, some of the more specific of Plagueis. It's always, because he goes. The idea is. No, I think a lot of, I think a lot of, like, Plagueis is still, like, of, like, his actual story. Like, I think the general idea of what Plagueis is is probably, like, still what it is in canon. But, like, I think in terms of details. They we really don't necessarily the have they that. They really missed yeah, the mark with Snoke. Wise. He really should have been playing as uh, thought, Yeah, uh, that, that didn't make a, sense. It's that, not like, a tale of the Jedi, I would tell you. Yeah. Yeah. The Jedi. He goes, I think, uh, uh, does Julian want to uh, give us his take on Star Wars? Yeah. Before we have to... So, best film, episode five, 100%. Yes. I'm sorry. It's it's. I know it's yeah. mm-hmm. like classic, but the classic it, it's, the be, it's the best. It's but the it best. Film. I never said it wasn't that episode two was the best film. I said it was my favorite. No, no, yeah, no. no, no I'm just saying it's an important distinction. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, well, e- even my favorite, still episode five. I mean, it, it and it's 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 just so good. It I mean, is. You it can't, is so you good. Can't deny. And the thing about it is like, uh, and they said, <laughs> I love the. This this will play into my favorite theory, which is kind of BS, which is that George Lucas wrote all three of them as one movie, and then they forced him to separate it. There's no way Luke and Leia never would have kissed in Episode Four. Like none of that shit would have ever happened. There's no way that he wrote them all as one movie, no. and then they said it's ideas. too long. Maybe, separate. Maybe George is just into some. Yeah, some weird yeah, stuff. and I'm Maybe telling you, like, like the one, like, the, the, like, the 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 sole wait, showrunner didn't his of his wife help him write like, the second movie. You know? <laughs> right, but uh, like if you think about it, like 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 Darth Vader, like the. The, there are a couple things that I think were planned, but in my personal opinion, like having watched like as as read as much story as you can, and like looking yeah. back at like all the documentaries and all the background footage and it's all the stuff of... that's there, there's Darth Vader being the father wasn't planned. Uh, Princess Leia being the sister wasn't planned. Like none of that was planned because they didn't. Well, well they Vader didn't think that being... they didn't. Well, I think Vader. Well, I'm telling a... you, they didn't. I'm telling you, they didn't think that Star Wars was going to be a success. So, but to say he's not being the, I mean, his name literally is Dark Father. Uh, well, yeah, you're Actually, right. Actually, it's uh, loosely Fater. translated. Fater. It's Fater. Translated. Fater. 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 But it's, it's Fater I, I feel like, um, but I, I think it's like, when it comes to episode five, you, you know, when you're, when you're talking about that kind of stuff, it's like, it, it, it shows how, like, episode five is a really good idea or a good representation of like how planning a sequel properly yeah. and like actually spending time realizing what people want to see and it's like the fil- the, is a good ex- it, is a, is the best. Cause I just think it's it. wild. Like, I don't know if there's ever been a more um like <laughs> seamless, like kind of like truthful, like progression of like the concepts explored in the first movie, like being taken deeper in like right. in the second. And, and every and I'm talking about every aspect in terms of like the world building of like the overall universe, in terms of like the force especially, because I think like the Luke and um, Luke and Yoda, Yoda Luke stuff. and Yoda Luke stuff is the probably the most is the so best balanced. like force related like uh Star Wars content there is. I think is still that oh, yeah, 100%. is the original Luke and Yoda stuff. Like the even like Luke, like Yoda's lines are they're like badass to this day. Like they, oh, they have yeah. like real yeah. value Try in them know. too, in some in some <laughs> sense as well. <laughs> that was pretty good. Just such good. a fascinating character. But even like um, there's something to be said about like Vader, where like in like a New Hope, and you've said this before, Vader isn't really the the main villain at times. Like he's more of the like he, I think he's always been a lack. He, he was an he's enforcer more of, like, for he's Tarkin. More of, like like yeah. Tarkin's more of like the the guy on top, and then Vader's is like. Like is not his lapdog, but he's more of like his uh, enforcer. He just like, looks well because you looks, haven't met the you haven't met the emperor exactly. yet. Exactly, like, so you don't exactly. quite know the dynamics of everything yet. To so jump but around. See, a see the thing is, okay. I don't I'd like like again. That's another thing where it's like the emperor is never mentioned. They never talk about. I like. I wonder is any of that was any of that planned? Did they have the emperor planned from the first movie, or was it always going to be that? 
Yeah, you I think know, there was Darth a sense Vader that there was, was always this bigger universe. That that next Lucas episode, we'll had. get into that. And, they uh, they do mention the Emperor in episode four, after um, when they're in the meeting room. The Senate has dissolved. The Emperor, the Emperor has dissolved the, the Senate. Senate. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Because honestly, right, I think because right. yeah, part right. of me was like, didn't they mention the Emperor? Because the Emperor is like a thing they stole right from Dune. So like, <laughs> if I'm yeah, like it is like, <laughs> so but, like I'm pretty sure they mentioned that earlier. But also the <laughs> like, other the other reason I, I say that episode five is my favorite is also again from a filmmaking standpoint yeah. like. You, like, you know how well they preserved the Baby Yoda secret? Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with yeah. the I am the father of your secret. Only like, Mark Hamill knew that, right? Only he knew that. And that is so, like, yeah. to say that they went to such a great length for a sequel. Like, people hate sequels. Sequels always fail every time. But so they said, well, we have to we have to come up with something that is going to make people want to see yeah, it's this. It's very rare that you get a sequel so, that's even, like, considered to be good. Let right. Let alone, like, that, that, so, that, like, not only is better than its first movie, but also, like, takes the universe in a, another step. Right. To, like, and they needed to, and they, you know, and st- episode five does it right in a way where they're yeah. like, okay, we have to, like, we, we, we have to make a decision here that actually impacts everybody who's watching. And yeah. so they say, okay, we're going to make this big as, like, it's the biggest plot twist in yeah. cinema history. That's, uh, but that's my opinions on episode five. Favorite characters, uh, Ahsoka and Luke. I can't pick. I love them both. Um, <laughs> Ahsoka, she's just relatable. Like you watch and you you watch Clone Wars and you just she you just relate to we like everything so she does. You spend so much time with her, so like there's this level of like we've spent we have like this You're long connected. we have this very long character arc with so much screen time for Ahsoka and like seasons on like Clone Wars is mainly her story. Mm-hmm. Um, right. And the good thing and the good thing about her is that she shows yeah. like and she develops so much. She like, helps people like for for people watching it's like it really really shows like what it means when you're supposed to stick to your gut and mm-hmm. like like that's that's impactful and that's an impactful thing to teach kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So does it's that like, mention, mean uh, because your character base mm-hmm. and what you're referencing does that mean you your force allegiance is gray as well? 100. percent But I my my personal opinion on that is I have to be because I'm too emotional of a person not to have attachments. <laughs> <laughs> but also, Fair enough. but also like this is the this is the one thing that always got me was that they say oh well you're not supposed to form attachments and you're not supposed to do this or you won't be a Jedi but if you look at it like every single Jedi in the films or the books they all they have all attachments have atta- yeah, exactly. to everything mm-hmm. what's Yoda's so, <clears throat> the Jedi the Jedi Jedi jo- he Yoda, has an attachment Yoda, to the Jedi Yoda, his you, his you, goal is to protect if you the, watch, the if you Jedi watch Clone if you Wars, watch his you, arc in Clone Wars when he sees Order sixty six happen he gets emotional or even the way he right. interacts like, he is so like. He's not cold at all with like Jedi. Like there are certain Jedi masters like Windu, certain like uh, like I think Shock T, you know, Luminar and Dooley, people like that, mm-hmm. who are very like, like distant with almost everyone. Or like even when Yoda, like the head honcho, like the Order would talk to any like youngling, any like uh, and he would, he yeah, would, they would they'd be like wonder in it. Like no matter what, even though they could be a master, they could be like a right. knight, and they the... could be like it, he could be training them to like with Seder combat, but it would always be magical from Yoda. Right, like, there and, was, the... and there was like almost care you could see. Like even the moment in like Rebels where like um where they're in the one temple and like. I think he, there's almost the force. The Yoda's oh, like the projecting himself. <laughs> yeah, the weird, really, really weirdly edited Yoda. But like, there's that one scene where like Ahsoka and like uh, Yoda see each other for yeah. like a god knows the only time in like 15 years, or whatever. Well, they and been. they also the, the, the with the like even Obi Wan, you were my brother. Like mm-hmm. that's an attachment. Like every they yeah. all have attachments. So it, Yoda, it, it is kind of BS team, to say like, that the yeah, Jedi like, like can't. They all say like it's 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 sort of that idea that well it's a failing. You, you it's have supposed to be follow... a failing in their philosophy, but... right? And, well, uh, remember but they're it's... all clouded by the dark side exactly, because yeah. the mm-hmm. te- Jedi Temple on Coruscant is built on an old bureaucracy and, uh, and dogma and like yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But, but there, I, there's oh yeah that that's the corruption that's coming from I forgot about the internal yeah because when they conquered Coruscant after they left Tython. They came in and they said that the Jedi Temple on Coruscant was built on a Sith Temple. Mm-hmm. And that's why so many Jedi had fallen to the dark side. Because that corruption in the Force was exposing younglings mm-hmm. and knights and masters all to the dark also side. Also this level that they wouldn't teach about like the thing there was they a were trying lot to of like, prevent people. They, they didn't let people know about these failings of ways that you would fall. Like right. it, was, it was like forbidden knowledge and like a... Uh, well, I think mm-hmm. that's part of the problem with the Jedi Order. Mm-hmm. And this is why I kind of more align with the gray and sometimes the dark is because Jedi, if we're being honest, we like the Jedi secret, suck. Like, the idea of the secret vault is like weird. Like they talk about, and we see the vault it's a, a lot in Clone Wars. Section in it's Harry very Potter. weirdly problematic <laughs> so, if you think about it. Like, oh, here's like the library with the books that are really, really important, but most of you can't really you're, read you're, them. You're not like, good enough to like, understand like, this. Yeah. And but, that's kind of where more so, though manipulative, to yeah. how the Sith mm-hmm. and the dark side is. 
it's never not that the Sith were like, hey, we're going to withhold information. Yeah. It's that we're going to use this information to corrupt you. Mm-hmm. And we're going to tell you it's there, but we're not really going to teach it to you. Yeah. But it's well, still there. One could make the argument that Palpatine withheld a lot of information. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> but I'm not necessarily um, talking about Palpatine. I'm not just bit talking about Palpatine, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the Sith Order as a whole as far back as the Old Republic. Mm-hmm. This is when the Sith became such a grand army. The Sith would share that knowledge. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. And you have the holocrons, which were created by Sith. Lightsabers, which were created by Sith. Mm-hmm. I mean, these are all things. The Sith mm-hmm. creations the are all yeah, reasons yeah. why that Star Wars is how it so, is. So let's just say the Jedi suck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think so that's kind of this is prequels. why I go with Grey <laughs> along the lines of the dark side. Because it's, it's like saying the United States is bad because of the Manhattan Project. But look at what the Manhattan Project brought to everybody. Yes, mm. Cold War, nuclear destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Advances in technology that we yeah, have. Yeah, we yeah, literally like, have. But right also here. death and nuclear yes, destruction. Because we pushed the boundaries of yeah. science. The, the good and bad, the gray of every bad, yeah, anything right. that ever happens. Yeah, um, that's what I think so I real quick, I just want to yeah. bring it back to Ahsoka for one thing. I think um, why Ahsoka is kind of so beloved as well is, like, I th- the prequels, I think everyone would agree that the prequels becomes a much better experience to watch, especially episode three, having watched Clone Wars. Oh yeah, because like oh, the story, yeah. so much of oh, yeah. Anakin, oh, so yeah. much of Anakin's fall, because we don't in between two and three, we don't get to see the war. You don't get to see the corruption. Anakin's fall when you like, and, I, and some people it hits right away. With that, like I know for you, like episode three is always hit for you. Oh yeah, like, with I Anakin. Loved three. Um, but a- episode three is not for at least the Anakin parts of it. Like in his fall, didn't always like even when I was like younger, like always hit me like as much as they should. But want the the thing that made me fully appreciate Vader's arc and like his fall was Ahsoka, and how Ahsoka is treated in uh, Rebel, and and that's the out of all the things that happens to like. Anakin to the, my own thing that I would have been mad most mad about and that would have like maybe made me like upset and to the point I would be already been mad with the Jedi Order well before like even episode 6 that there is what like made me like realize and, right and and and, and, the, and that the, enhances like so much that not only is Ahsoka's arc on her own so good and almost is like a different like Anakin with a different flavor like Anakin like light Anakin, like, with, Anakin a with a different flavor Anakin with, but, um, I love it Anakin was who was actually had the chance to to like make his own decisions. When like, did Anakin yeah. become and, a Bud Light beer? Yeah, <laughs> like if Anakin wasn't like so trapped in like with his when, in, with love and like in the order being like the chosen one, like the, like he may have actually had like the the smarts and like the like the the moral compass to be like Ahsoka. Right, but and they, maybe and they end start... up like Ahsoka, but it's the position he like kind of gets stuck in, and then the, the, it requires the power to save it. But like ah- Ahsoka's story is so like good because it's on its own it stands alone but it also improves the most important character in Star Wars which right. is right and the thing is too like, like when it comes to <clears throat> when it comes to Ahsoka it's like and and again I I feel the same way that you did when it comes mm-hmm. to episode 3 was like when I was younger I was like oh man that's really sad like you know but now they like they specifically wrote parts of Ahsoka into the Clone Wars that that mm-hmm. are taken from moments in episodes 2 and 3 where they're like okay so this moment that he this line that this one line that he has in episode three is going to mean something yeah. in this Clone Wars. Like, so, so now I've having seen Clone Wars like four times. You know, it's it's now you, I rewatch episode three and I'm like, oh my god, I know what he's talking about. Like, there's not enough within just the live action prequels that to make me like hate the Jedi or like feel the hate that the. Anakin but then you watch. The Jedi. Then you watch Clone then Wars then I and watch, then you're like, Ahsoka gets you, exiled. You, you like, watch. You watch it. Then you watch Ahsoka get kicked out of the order and you want to murder every <laughs> Jedi Master yourself. And, they, and then like, they go. And, and then, then they go. go. And then Yoda goes. Uh, you want to, I want to chop really Mace sorry. Windu's head. So when I see Mace Windu get like, why don't you, when why don't I see you Mace Windu back? get like, we we totally apologize for like blaming you for murder, murder. And, and exiling you. And she goes, come you on, down. it was, she it goes, was actually goes, your trial. You it was actually your Jedi oh, yeah. trial, guys. Was, like, wait, <laughs> hold, hear me on this. Yeah, but isn't the same thing they did to Ahsoka what Luke did? They blamed her for a terrorist attack. When did this happen with Luke? When he blew up the Death Star. I mean, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, um, well, okay. Luke actually so blew then, up the Death Star. So, where so I, 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 I want to. I want to throw it. I'm just saying. I want to throw it back to the. That was Barris. But, yeah, but go ahead. Question: Julian. Who thinks Barris is alive? 
I do. I do. Somewhere. Oh, 100%. Sure. I don't know where she's around. I think we'll like, see. I think we'll find out more in the Ahsoka show. Is it bar- I think we can talk about in... this more later at a later date. Yeah, we're Julian has a lot time, more to yeah. talk about. So I, I, I just want to get to the, the other thing, which is the my, my perspective on Luke, which, I mean, everybody does. Everybody here at this table is going to disagree with me, but I, I have to say this is that, like, I, I, I love Luke as a character, and everybody loves the original Luke, and then the one, the one that comes back in Mandalorian, and then he's in Boba Fett, and he's awesome, and he's super cool, and he's like a Jedi, but then you look at the episode eight arc and from a writing standpoint you taking a character that the worst is worst movie ever <laughs> it's i will say that half of that movie is good and half of it is not i yeah. and we'll get into that argument <laughs> on another day well but, we, we have a whole sequel episode coming yes up. right so we have stay a sequel tuned episode. for that we'll be on much more deep um, discussion but there. so when his his character in particular excluding everything else that happens in episode eight forget about the fuel thing forget about the the not admiral akbar <laughs> bs like forget about all that which they do mention fuel in episode three and so when they were like oh there's no fuel in star wars that's a lie because he says i'm here to get some fuel and it's been mentioned a lot well, it's, it's, been, it's been mentioned it's just it's never, just been, never like, been like a, a problem a pro- a, i mean they've been right. in falcon runs away from star wars <laughs> for like three weeks straight in like right. In, so, in like uh, but five, so. Luke's Luke's character arc in eight is so good, and the reason I mm. say that the reason I say that's good is is uh, I'm gonna reference Batman versus Superman here. Lex Luthor says, "If God can be all powerful, then he cannot be all good, and if God can be all good, then he cannot be all powerful." And that's the thing is they're taking a character that they've written to be the most powerful Jedi in the universe and the greatest person in the universe, and saying that's literally impossible. And so they give him a flaw, one mistake in his entire existence, one mistake. And that is human. That takes a character that is insanely non-relatable and making him relatable. See, I don't know. I wouldn't go and kill my nephew, but they're taking the idea that like he has flaws and making it a reality. And that's what I love about it is because Luke is so... Luke was, from the very beginning of the first movie to episode six and on, was very cut and dry. He's a good guy, and he's the greatest, and he's the most powerful. And it's like, you you have to, like, if, if, you re, in, if you think about it, like, sitting there on that idea that he's all good, and he's all powerful, and he's this, and he's that, and he's, and he's just, like, he's the best guy ever because he decided not to go to the dark side and whatever, it, it kind of becomes boring in, in reality. But if you take it, you take a character that is so beloved and give him one flaw ever, one flaw mistake and you but say like that only mistake though like luke makes like luke's entire story in five is making mistakes like like that yeah, that's but the best the, movie but in the, the series point, like he but makes mistakes point, uh, but like, it's but, but not like, his but mistake not, like leads detrimental to, mistakes. not as they're the not, grand master of the jedi and, and to be order. fair like and i would say i what they're trying to do in uh last jedi is i i actually i liked the like the idea of trying to approach like this idea of like approaching the jedi and like the, the failings of the order and stuff that idea is i don't think an idea that any star wars fan um like has a, a necessary issue with um but I, I just think that like so much of like and again most Star Wars fans they care about all this extra background lore of like how people got to the situation like the 30 years between those two movies matters and so much of the lore and like the things that they use to get to the point where you can tell the story with Luke is so nonsensically dumb, and like when you if you know anything about Star Wars or just continuity at all, like the amount of or, and even like the, some of the stories and like the lessons that are supposedly learned from previous like trilogies, like the, some of the ideas and the the decisions that the background staff or like the world building make to get yeah. to the point of Luke to get onto this island to make the Jedi Order how he makes it even in the first place is very forced like world building and like if you're a star wars fan like on the level of like some of us well are, and that's why it doesn't make sense well this kind of why it, it leads fit. into leads like, into my next point which is which is when we were talking about how do we feel about the disney's you know disney's mm-hmm. choice and and hiring dave filoni and john favreau now even it makes it better what they've done with boba mm-hmm. fett which is they've now started to well they're the only ex- profitable expand on too, how that started so. and and all that sort of stuff and um if they hadn't hired Dave Filoni and, and John Favreau, like Star Wars would have just ended. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it, it, would, it, it would have ended, right and people yeah. would have ended up hating it. And in, in reality, it, okay, Star Wars would have been fine had it just stopped, because we still have everything that's already been there. Mm-hmm. But it's Star Wars. Everybody wants more Star Wars. Yes. Like, if, like uh, for for people who like even the simplest of fans yeah. who want Star Wars, they're always going to want more. Like, because so there's mm. there's because there was a fear of there's some fear of that that I've heard of like. That this over too much Star Wars, but I don't know if that's yeah, necessarily but no, true. I, I disagree. Like, I think the thing is too, like, like when I don't it comes necessarily to have that. when it comes to Star Wars, it's such a big, 
uh, it's such a big universe that, like, again, yeah. it, it's, as long as they variety. give us more stuff like Mandalorian, and they kind of, I, I would like to, like, Acolyte. They saw those I fucking set pictures for, for Acolyte, Acolyte, and that was awesome. And I'm excited to, like, get away from the... Skywalkers. M- but I want to get away from the Skywalkers and the and the Obi-Wan. And, like, don't get me wrong, Obi-Wan Kenobi was amazing. But, like, uh, okay, I don't really need another season of Obi-Wan. <laughs> I just... So, the next talking point I want to talk about was... Uh, one of the talking points we talked about was the, what's the best arc. And uh, this is, again, another controversial thing, but I think the, the, the writing for Ben Solo is just amazing in the sequels okay. like like he arguably well not really arguably he's the best written character in the sequel films um uh, that i'll give you what yes. what happens to him is is just like it's so well i have one problem he dies why that is the like you're taking the best character and 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 killing him in in a last ditch effort to try to make him good, but I'm my act- opinion on that mm-hmm. is he should have like had a little bit more time. We spent so yeah. much time waiting for the redemption, waiting for the redemption, waiting for yeah. the redemption, and then we finally get it, and then they kill yeah, him. I was like, I later. hate, like, I oh, hate these dude. films. Like, but that, but like Ben, here's what. And this Adam Driver did This would have made. He did. he did an amazing. There was something, we have the same. Birthday. There's only one thing really? that yeah. in my mind that would have made like. I don't know if I would have I would have ever have accepted the sequels as they are, but the one thing that would have made me able to accept them as like their Ooh. own thing that has its own place in the universe would have been at the end of uh, eight, they switched. Ray that became Ray, dark side. And Ray Kylo falls. Became... Kylo goes good. It's very obvious. It's literally the lot. It's if you follow the actual script that Ryan Johnson is apparently so brilliantly writing there, <laughs> like that would have been the logical. Follow up to how if to the story. So like this idea that he does something grand and groundbreaking, which it's not. It's a combination of five and six m- mushed together, but they put Hoth at the end. So you um, think like, but I, so you think like, like Ray should have taken up. Yes, like that would have been steel. the logical. That's what they're building towards the entire movie, and then they're like, ah, no, because Ray's good and Kylo's bad. Like, I disagree. Like, that's my opinion I, on it. I like, don't think. I think that's. that's I think that's going. what it looks like it's going. Because again, Ray doesn't like Ray. Ray's story in that movie, like, I understand what it's trying to be, but it just doesn't come across, like, well. So, right. Yeah. Um, there you go. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. He Sorry should have survived. <laughs> That's what we're here. We're <laughs> yeah. discussing it. Um, so, it, he should have survived because I wanted to see, and we talked about this when we talked about the Duel of Fate script, mm-hmm. which we should talk about when we do the sequel yeah, episode definitely. because mm-hmm. I have so many opinions on that. But in yeah, the that's du- fascinating. In the, in the Duel of the Fate script, he also dies. And yeah, it's, it's very weird. It's like, no, neither frustrating one get, because alive. <laughs> he would have been like I would have loved because obviously they obviously with what we got was that they fall in love with each other and then she kisses him and then it's weird. Yeah. Which it's weird, yeah. But which evidently, I mean, I, I'm not the the like I'm not the least fan of like it. Like it doesn't bother me that much. It. I mean, it, she is like 19 in the. Nowhere. I mean, she is like 19 in the first movie and he's 29. Yeah. So, like, it's, it's, there is like a. Not, Leia like, kissed her brother. I mean, yeah, it's true. <laughs> they were both 19. Han but, Solo uh, was 32, though. So, but anyway, that's like, weird, that doesn't bother that's me so much. The, that's the sequel. There are so many weird things, like, where it's like, oh, yeah, you think Kylo's been gone for so long? Seven years. Birthday <laughs> like, ages. That's all. Like, he's been. Birthday like, ages are weird in the Star Wars. Yeah, there's a lot of That's okay. how it goes. Um, I mean, Bo Katan's like 50 in Mando. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so, let's talk about. Um, my favorite theory, which is oh, yeah. the the biggest and most obvious one, which they should just make canon at this point, which is that Palpatine created Anakin. Isn't like, that, like, kind of already implied? Nah, like, it's implied, but they, that, like, it's kind never of been canon? overtly said that... It's, like, kind that, of canon. Like, I've it, heard two different theories. One that it was Palpatine and one that it was Plagueis. I disagree. I think it's I think Plagueis, 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 which is what is actually canon, oh, which is the Jar-Jar. force... Actually created Anakin, but and the thing is, is that's that based off of. But I think with Grogu, choices, I think with forces. Grogu now, I think the Force created Grogu to counter Anakin. But if you, but if you, I think that's what we're, they're born the same year. Grogu and Anakin both, Skywalker yeah. are born in the same year. If you go, if you figure oh it out, God, yeah, they're it born is. in the. That's why I think it's Palpatine <sighs> made. I, in my opinion, what they're going to with Grogu in is Palpatine made like a. Like a, uh, a dark side. Like a manipulated the force and created something, like some dark side being essentially, or being to that he was going to use to be the dark side at one point. But and then the force created a counter. But you have to take it. But you have to take the force like back to with, what it initially was. Was that the, the, the force is just a thing that's there that's being manipulated mm-hmm. by midichlorians and people and all sorts of things. Yeah. It doesn't 
think on its own. No, the it's Force is like an ethereal its being element. that creates its own. Which is why I like the Force element, Awakening so is dumb. Like, it's, are it's you disagreeing not, like, with me? Okay, so the Force is. There's oh. a lot of different thoughts on the what the Force is. Jordan's got a. In, re- in regards to the Force, I'm an actual believer in the Force. The Force. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was uh, <laughs> paying attention here. I'm an actual believer in the force. That was awesome. And um, I'm sure that sounded good in your ears, huh? Oh, that was great. <laughs> I'm glad we. I can entertain you. Um, I'm an actual believer in the force. So yeah. to me, the force makes the most logical sense. And if you lived a day in my mind, you'd be like, "You're nuts." But the force is the thing that binds everything. Right. The force can do as it wills. And we have the wills to show for it, which Yoda visits. Yoda learns from. Qui-Gon yeah, the force, learns the force isn't from. as um The if, force if I, is a yeah. living mm-hmm. entity. If I'm correct, the force is like it's malleable. Like it's it, it has its there are certain aspects of the force where it has like its own will and it can like influence There's its two person. Connections but it can force. also like you can also be a prism for the force where it almost like like come, you are Which a tool, is the Jedi and, it use, sense, and you use it the way it like um and like caps. Like the force doesn't make you evil necessarily. Like there's you're maybe the force using that connects us all, and then there's the living force. That's true. So the cosmic. In the when we get into that episode, yeah, it's a it's a bit jumbled. Like it is very can like. I, can I uh, can I ask a question to everybody in the room? Yeah, yeah. So what I've and anyone can disagree with me if they want to. What mm-hmm. I've come to see the force as is that it's always there and it is always in balance itself Mm -hmm. the only time it becomes out of balance is when someone manipulates it and corrupts it aka the jedi suck (laughs) yeah so like when a lot of people say that like anakin was made to bring balance to the force like it's not him make coming around and like make killing every, all the Jedi all so the that it's two good. and two. Yeah, it did. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's two, gone two now. It's, it, it's, it's like, more saying that like yeah. he'll get rid of the corruption that is the force, like that the people are using to yeah, corrupt. Yeah, and the I force. think that's kind of the that I I like that idea to say because both okay. the Jedi and the Sith are are both not pure representations of the Force. They're both through their own like biases. Right, and, and that's like, the thing I love about when you say like, okay, bring like, balance right, like, to the think, Force least, is to get like, rid of the Jedi and the Sith. Period uh, is like because because the Force is just like again the way. The way that oh, I mean, Obi Wan says it plainly in Episode Four, which is that it's just there. It yeah, so does it rain? Do that though? Us, binds us. Huh. Well, it relates does to like it, dog. I know it this is. Like, I don't mm-hmm. like them. But doesn't Ray do that? Where she actually brings balance to the force? Yes, in that that's what I. That's like why. That's the point. And that's like that's something you have. Like you have to admit as a fan. Like that's what she does. She's yeah. like. All of this corruption and everything, she finally turns the tides to like, okay, we've killed off all the Jedi, we've killed off all the Sith, like, we until she goes. I was gonna put this out there. It might. This is good. And this is. But she doesn't. This might cause an issue in my brain. The way I have it wired, the sequel trilogy doesn't exist. (laughs) She does in Lego Star Wars. So like when I'm watching Mandalorian, like that's the farthest thing. But but you know what I mean? Like somebody, but teaching somebody how to use the force properly. Like when you're watching Mandalorian, dude. I when I'm watching Mandalorian, I'm literally at the moment. I'm thinking I'm in a different universe. Like in the sequel trilogy is not what this is leading to. And I think that's what. Like I think when we see the tank, I don't think that has anything to do with Snoke, because money talks. At the end of the day, and there's no money in the sequel franchise. I think it's I think, over. They're I gonna, think they have. They're, that's the thing. They have to. And and, and this isn't even me arguing about um, like the, the merits of like whether they're good films or not. Right. The, this is just a purely financial, factual. Like not. Well, I don't say factual. That's a bit presumptuous. But um, like there's no money left in those like films. No. There's they, no. There's not, no sequels here. Anything. Like they didn't make when they announced all those shows that they're never gonna make. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking well, about. Well, actually, they, uh, they did... announced that big line of shows, and we've only got like four of them developed in the meantime. They, Rogue there was Squadron, a... yeah. Acolyte, Acolyte yeah, Ahsoka, so much. Man, uh, Skeleton There's not a crew. single thing that we have that relates to sequel trilogy at all. The only the sequel era uh, cartoon canned immediately. Lego Two Star seasons. Wars: The Holiday like, Special. That's the only thing we've got. <laughs> it was that's amazing. And, and was Summer Vacation. Though. Oh yeah, that's right, Summer Vacation. Uh, like that's the only thing because again the toys don't sell. They, they we only get Grogu toys because like again there's no sequel here. Like I remember that they had, they took them five years to sell every single Last Jedi pop because like you couldn't get rid of them. When like, still yeah, can't get you still of can't them. get rid of them. They're they, still in production. And I still bought. Them. So, <laughs> at, so and at some point you can't have like 
and at, at some point, the, yeah, okay. at some point, like Dis- it, Disney is going to look at it and be like, well, we can't have the franchise we bought for five billion dollars. Like we can't we can't leave the thing that damaged it to the point where our, we lost like five hundred million dollars between like a billion dollars between our first movie in a trilogy and the last one. Well, like, that doesn't make trust. like the, the last it. Avengers movie doesn't didn't make less money than the first one. Like the, the and Star Wars should be doing the exact same thing. I'll, by the time you I'll get loop to a back around movie. to to my favorite theory. Real quick. doesn't have a billion and dollars. And with with the world between worlds, a lot of people are hoping. That's that, what I'm saying. Like, I think that will the, the merge route. off into a second. The, the universe where Ahsoka lives. No sequels. So here's the theory that I read online Ahsoka in impacts regards to the world between worlds, and 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 I would love to. We're gonna have a whole episode on all of the different theories. Um, the world between worlds. It's Marvel, not Marvel. I apologize. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's all Disney owned. Yeah. Um, it, it's Lucas's film's way of retconning everything. We have Crisis on Infinite Earths in DC. We have. The snap in Infinity War. You have all these other different things. And I know I'm forgetting so many. And you get the knockoff Harry Potter where they're recounting all that now. I literally think it's the a World Star Between Wars knockoff. Was, like, it was written as an eject button. You're talking of Star Harry Potter is a Star Wars knockoff. <laughs> yes. It's a great value brand. Unpopular opinion. Um, I mean, there's a lot of no, I, I, I know exactly, so much sense. Yeah, I know exactly what you're referring to. The Harry Potter thing. There's a lot of Harry Potter that seemingly is borrowed, like from Star Wars. But they're all like that. But, but again, I mean, but again, but again Star Wars it's is just borrowed from like you it all can't just make like a, a hero's movie tale. nowadays so, without borrowing from something. else. It's just it's a hero's tale, like, Harry right? Isn't that what the thing is based on? Star Wars with suckier lightsabers. Yeah, kind of. You stole minus a dad connection. But it's the same thing. But it's the same thing. Like like Lord of the Rings. All three trilogies are all three series of books and movies they're all about a magical orphan boy who an old man shows up yeah. and he's like hey you want to learn some magic and they're mm-hmm. like yeah i think i could learn some magic and then they go on a no, great it is quest. a classic like it's hero's same, tale type but that's story. but that's like, what it is the hero's so, which is why the prequels is a little you know bit more I mean? like has a bit more like is the bit more like the political nuance and like Darth, the, the machination Darth, it doesn't yeah. necessarily uh i don't know either way um look yeah. we have so many different episodes to really layer into this right So, real quick, we're going to be going down the road here. We're going to be talking about the originals. We're going to be talking about the sequels. We're going to be talking about the prequels, the filler movies, Rogue One, and (laughs) Solo, and what should have been Obi-Wan's movie. Um, All these different things. Call it what it is. It should have been an (laughs) Obi-Wan movie. Yeah, that, Um, yeah. And we're also going to be talking about our different theories and how we really want to expand this, but... I really just want to say, first of all, thank you guys for coming on and being a part of this panel yes. and really expressing where you are mm-hmm. uh, in this universe and your standpoints, and uh, as well as pushing your love of Star Wars out there for everybody else to understand because, you know, they're not alone in that regards. Um, the Force does connect us. Whether you like it or not, I'm gonna I'm gonna smack the crap out of you with that Burger King comment. Uh, but I also want to yeah, thank Maranto cool. Media, especially for allowing us and Emerge Studios yes. to allow us to come in here and record. Um, yeah, pass that mic over to him. Let him uh, oh, yeah, speak, and you know we greatly appreciate it. Uh, uh, no, Great thank you. Zone. Thank you for, for uh, giving us, because obviously we've been trying to build something over here and, and the chance to have this type of podcast. We have a lot of sports ones. We're trying to do some break into some different areas. And uh, I like this. I mean, I like sitting here and I like hearing the arguments from uh, even an old guy perspective and kind of just, <laughs> we're, it, it is funny. It was there at the Last Supper. It's funny because, you know, like, and I, Christian and I have Who's had this eight? conversation a lot over the years that like, uh, my generation, we're, we're kind of like, we're not so much, let's go watch a cartoon show. And then uh, Christian and Zach have forced me to kind of really get into to the Clone Wars. And I'm not as, as experienced with it as you guys are, but oh my God, it's just so good. And it is so Star Wars. And and I and that's why I love what they're doing with the TV shows, Boba Fett sometimes. But about, <laughs> because it really is Star Wars to me. And it feels like the Star Wars that I was very passionate about from the time I was like 10 years old to, you know, then when I grew up kind of thing, even in my 20s, you know, 
Um, so no, this is cool. I think you guys are yeah. doing great, and, and we're building them their own. We're building our, their own uh, Death Star down in the basement, so to speak. Uh, yeah, we're yes. you guys gonna have your own set within probably maybe not the next episode, but the episode after that. So we look forward to expanding what you guys. Are yeah, doing. so yeah, we're, we're over here on Terra to put it into Marvel context, <laughs> uh, recording the, this episode here, and um, while the Empire constructs the Death Star in the basement, um, <clears throat> we're gonna have we're gonna have a great we're gonna get time copyrighted now because set. of you. Yeah, seriously. No, it was a different tune. We're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, different. Uh, it's a G flat. Yeah. Um, no, I just want to thank you guys, you know, um, for for connecting here. And, you know, the force really does connect us. And we can have that debate another day. <laughs> but I like seeing where everybody's at. One, not to know that I'm not alone in my beliefs. Um, and to see how many grays there really are here. That's, uh, the, that's the coolest. I'm pretty gray, man. <laughs> Ahsoka's made say. it. Ahsoka's made pretty it pretty, pretty gray, mainstream. Brother. Pretty bam, cool bam, these days. Bam, uh, so. You gotta get. You gotta throw it back to the OG. Yeah. We got to Qui Gon, Qui Gon, yeah. and Bendu, but Bendu, but Bendu too. So I want to just say out gray. there real quick. Uh, Thank you for listening. We do have a YouTube series that's going to be coming out, uh, mm. and we're working on a TikTok as well. That way, you cannot miss this segment of the seven one six. Attack Legion, and I'm screwing it up again. It's the 716th, guys. I apologize. 716th Attack 716th. Legion. Uh, you know, it's just it's, it's whatever it's they the call military. it. Steal it's the, the military side of 05 me that w- where we throw the numbers in it, and it's just you're not actually the nine like we have here, the 914th or anything. It's the 914. So I apologize for my jargon. Let's have um, that. But you know, I just want to say, uh, you know, I hope that y'all uh, continue to listen in and I, we look forward to having these further discussions. Our next episode is going to be on the uh, original theory of uh, the original movies that come out. We're going to have um, some, some original be there viewers. Or yeah, you're going to have some people who are there that um, were there when it was written and released. And I was there when it that was time. written. <laughs> Don't uh, quote the ancient magics to me. I Rich, was there when they I was were there written. When it was written. Okay, Aslan, calm down. <laughs> um, but, you know, may the force be with you guys on your journey out of here and today. You and also. also with you. <laughs> Good soldiers do follow orders. And uh, Kumbaya, my lord. Uh, <laughs> Oi, mate. I think we're going to go fight some clankers. And I'm I, can't <laughs> oh, and, uh, I can't do any accents. Make sure you guys are uh, <laughs> checking out Bad Batch, and uh, we're going to be talking about that here soon, too. Each I'm episode, so we're going to go over and uh, talk about the new stuff that's mm-hmm. coming out. Um, and I look forward to seeing Acolyte, Mandalorian Season 3, as well as Episode yeah. 6 as well as, what's the other Bad one? Batch coming out next week. What's the other show? Skeleton, Skeleton Crew. Skeleton, Skeleton Crew. Crew. We're going to have a great really time interesting. talking about all this content. Uh, we're going to have uh, about 16 episodes this season, so stay tuned. We're going to talk um, about Gina Carano's show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. May the force be with you guys, and uh, yeah, have a great night. And, and also with you. Thank you. <laughs>